What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC. There's been some breaking retro news. Breaking Amico retro news. So you know what that means. It's time for the Good Times Newsline Flashcast. That's right. Yeah, it's a little something new. I know I'm not in the, the newsline area. Don't have a lot of time. Kind of wanted to like make this video and make sure I get it out there. You know, show some people some cool stuff I found on the interwebs before everybody that does Amico stuff does all the videos. <laughs> I saw it this morning and I was like, got really excited, got super pumped. Um, I check this place all the time and probably everyone will now after this. But anyway, I found some stuff and it's cool. So I'm going to share it with you. So what is it? It is about the Amico. All right. But what is it in particular? So this might be a clue. Amazon. See that smile right there? See the little smiley smile? Yeah. Amazon. They, they got all sorts of different places. They got Amazon. Dot, you know, UK.com, DE, whatever, all the stuff. But on Amazon.de, there was some cool breaking like stuff. So that's where we found, of course, the accessories. We found the, you know, the, the stuff where you put it on the controller, the little stickers, you know, decals or whatever. We found all that stuff there. But games started showing up, man. Games. They started showing up on um, um, Amazon.de. So I did a little more digging and a little more translating because I don't read German. And we're going to talk about some games. So before I go any further... I wanted some disclaimers right up front. So disclaimer number one, this stuff happens sometimes where retailers put up stuff and it's not supposed to be there and it's worded wrong or whatever that happens. So if everything I'm reading is wrong, you know, feel free to tell me team intelligence. Let me know that, Hey, it's all wrong. Don't, you know, it's not, it's not true. And he'd be like, all right, I'm sorry. And I'll come back and it'll be like, I'm sorry. Um, there are some things there. When you read like some of the descriptions, it'll say things that like kind of uh, you know, relate to the physical media. Um, those things are kind of boilerplate because no one knows what this stuff is. No one knows what the physical media is. So when you see things like name of game and then code inbox, it doesn't really mean anything. It just means, you know, like, oh, hey, it's a thing. And we associate this with other games that have this in it. So that's what we're associating it with we have absolutely no idea whether or not team and television actually is you know like we know it's physical media there's gonna be something physically in a box and we also know that this is an all digital system so likely there's gonna be something you're gonna put on the amico whether it has a you know like game code or we don't know we just don't know we don't know any of these things so we can't make the assumptions we can't just like jump to conclusions about any of this stuff and of course this is all before you know, finalization of launch and finalization of everything. So again, create assault, you know, give some benefit of the doubt, do all those things. Just do it. It's cool. So enough ram rambling and enough of this face. So this particular good, good times newsline flashcast is going to have a lot less of this guy and a lot more of, of stuff because they've been, man, they've put so many screenshots out there. So I'm going to have them rolling. As I'm talking about each game, what we're going to do is going to go through each game in alphabetical order um, for the eight, that's this many, eight um, released games uh, for the physical releases, the ones that are going to be at launch. And we're going to read the product descriptions. And while I'm doing that, it's not going to be this face yapping at you. You're going to see nice bright colors and screens and all sorts of fun stuff. Got some cool stuff in there too, so don't you guys miss that. Um, and, uh, let's just hit it. Right. All right, cool. So I'm going to hit this button. Boom. And then we're going to read some product descriptions and I'm probably going to do it very badly, but that's okay. All right. So we're going to start off with biplanes. All right. The product description up to eight players compete against each other in different game modes and time rounds. It says in timed rounds, but again, you know, boilerplate stuff. You know, stuff might be not worded correctly. Stuff might not mean what it says it means. All that stuff, all right? Players earn points by aiming at each other and focusing on stationary targets. Environmental hazards, 
from sudden light lightning bolts to burning debris are to the unyielding ground require a high level of confidence from any pilot hoping to survive. Strong winds and the ever-present risk of the engine stalling will also put your maneuverability to the test. The most exciting addition to the arcade original is a evasive maneuver in which the player can avoid attacks and ob obstacles. I think that's like that fall, like, you know, like the self-stall thing that they were showing in the videos. Um, if, if so, cool. If not, hey, you know, let's do something else. This, combined with equipment losses that alter the capabilities of the aircraft and its weapons, gives the action modern flexibility and freedom. Players can fight in classic free-for-all or team matchups to destroy bases with bombs or conquer them in five different game modes. That's awesome. Five game, five game modes. Awesome. For fans of the original triple action, Biplanes offers an, an original game mode that returns to the roots of the Intellivision Classic. That's awesome. And then it says, join the bi Biplane Luftwaffe. Um, that's totally cool that there's going to be stuff that's a nod to the original game. That's really cool. It's got some features in here. Some of these games will have features. Some of them don't. They, they you know, each product description was a little different on the page. So again, it's all boilerplate. Stuff can like stuff can change. Stuff could be wrong. Again, you know, just grains of salt, people. Grains of salt. All right. So features. We want to give both modern and retro gamers the best experience possible by restoring the same sense of intensity that the original game had when it was first released. That's cool. The dodge. All allows player to perform aerial, aerial acrobatics to dodge enemy attacks and environmental hazards. So I guess it, it is called the dodge, um, and that's like the move that you can do, whether it's a stall or you know like a, a barrel roll or whatever. We don't we have yet to see. Dynamic camera. In some game modes, the camera moves in and out depending upon the player's position on the screen. This enhances the dramatic effect of the presentation and gives the players the opportunity to see their planes up close. Kind of cool. Card selection. Multiple cards with different strategic factors offer different visual and playful moments. So I don't know what that means. What is card selection? Multiple cards, strategic factors, like, <clears throat> you know, is, is there a card system where you earn stuff as you, as you beat people? And then you can like, you know, get different planes and like have them look different or, you know, like uh, make them heavier or lighter or stronger or, you know, um, or weaker kind of a trade-off system. We don't know. We, you know, questions, people, questions. All right, weapon types. To keep the tension in the gameplay and to ch challenge the players, different types of weapons could be acquired by a collecting equipment drops. <clears throat> Some even ask the player to engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat or hit targets with bombs. So it's just gonna be more than just in the plane action. There's gonna be people like running around on the ground and stuff. That's cool. Um, definitely a little unexpected. Like, so who knows? Who knows what that's gonna bring? Man, I can't wait to see more of this stuff. All right, awesome. So airplane variants. The list of airplanes consists of real, double, and monoplanes. Uh, so I guess it's like the, you know, the, the, the double tier old school Red Baron looking kind of thing. And then um, your, your, your monoplane, you know, which of course is just like a single, single, uh, single wing uh, configuration. These are all replicas of real historical aircraft as it wraps up the features and product descriptions for biplanes. That is cool. That is really, really cool. And you know, as you guys are looking at the, uh, of course the, the pictures that have been going back and forth um, and cycling through that's oh, man I just really want to play this game but there's more there's so much more and I want to keep this video kind of tight so we got to move on and we'll talk about some more later all right next brain duel all right talking about some brain duel um, it's cool to get some more information about this right so product description brain training for all ages that you can do alone or with your friends Salvatore and his granddaughter, Vesta, will give you advice and support and explain which parts of your brain are activated during your training. They will motivate you and keep moving to take care of your mental fitness. All 30 activation ex exercises were designed by Dr. Kawashima. Nice! That's awesome! A, re a respected and well-known 
Japanese neuroscientist who has also appeared in other popular and highly regarded brain training products. Yes, we will say brain training products. You guys know what the brain training products are, right? You know, if you don't, then, you know, like hit me up or something or say something in the comments. Somebody say something in the comments, please. Um, you know, you, you guys know what it is. All right. In, in addition to individual training, you can practice with family and friends by creating the in, an individual profile for everyone, which is cool. Start tracking and improving your mental fit, fitness every day. As part of this extraordinary brain training game, many other functions, such as extensive ranking and lists, extensive ranking lists, sorry, and statistics and leaderboards and a trophy room await you. A truly unique brain training session awaits you as well, which is cool. That's really neat. All right, so go down the feature list. Brain training product of the highest quality with a scientific approach. Very cool. 30 specifically developed exercises to stimulate the brain. Also very cool. Daily tests to check your current brain fitness, um, which I guess is like your overall score. Dynamic difficulty levels on in the course, which is cool. So, I mean, I guess if you're like having a little trouble, maybe it gives you some more stuff to like kind of encourage you to keep moving. Very cool. Very effective also. Excuse me, in a lot of edutainment titles. So if this system is a hit and it works, you know, that could lend, lend to more things later, maybe. All right, detailed scientific background information for each exercise. Detailed help system, which can be which can be accessed anywhere in the game. Comprehensive and detailed statistics. Profile management to help to allow multiple players on your Amico, which is also cool. Real-time multiplayer mode with up to four players. Sweet, awesome. And simple intuitive user interface for all ages. Um, that's cool. I mean, that's awesome. Dr. Kawashimi being involved is awesome. Like, kind of half confirmed, because again, you know, things could be messed up, you know, whatever, but they wouldn't put his name in the product description and then release this to somewhere like Amazon so they could put it on the website if it wasn't true, right? You know, so that's huge. It's awesome. Uh, super pumped, super pumped. All right, but we gotta move on. We gotta find some other games. The next game is Dyna Blaster. It's that game that's kind of like the other game, but it's called Dyna Blaster. All right, awesome. Anyway, product description. The legendary classic bomber is back. Dyna Blaster is new and improved 3D action multiplayer game. All right. Um, Dyna Blaster has a, a lot of great visual and sound effects. Okay, so an odd thing to put in there. It could be Google Translate, you know, kind of messing with me. The blockbuster Dyna Blaster is a game for strategic and tactical players whose quick thinking and clever games will frighten their opponents. Well, that's, that's interesting. Again, I think this is one of those things where Google Translate is just kind of like weirdly messing around. Um, but yes, it is a good strategy game and has tactics where quick think thinking and clever gamers will flight, frighten their opponents, I think, is a loose retranslation. I don't know. Anyway, in this addicting action game, players try to destroy their enemies with cleverly placed bombs. In if you play in groups of up to four players, the last standing wins. So that's cool. Um, very similar to that other game. That's like the game that is like Dino Blaster, who, which also was a game called Dino Blaster. You know what I'm saying? All right. Anyway, this game will keep you busy. Each bomb must be carefully placed to stand a chance of victory. The game offers a variety of items, such as power-ups that are hidden under blocks. Players will destroy walls to unlock these coveted power-ups as they grant a variety of new tools and skills. In addition, you can customize your Dino Blaster avatar in the game by choosing different characters, outfits, heads, hat, haircuts, hats, bombs, and much more. All right, Dino Blaster at a glance. Here's the little features. One of the best bomber games of all time. Modern 3D game based on the original. Local multiplayer with up to four players. New special cooperative key collecting mode, which is cool. Something we haven't heard about before. Awesome. Questions, questions. Balanced single player mode. 50 exciting levels in five breathtaking worlds. Customization of your own character. And nine unique boss bonuses and power ups, which is cool. Very cool. Um, of course, Dino Blaster, we all know it's kind of like 
it is that game that is like the other game. There's also one that's called Dino Blaster. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's a, it's a good time. I'm definitely excited about that. Want to want to learn more. Got questions? Got questions about that new um, cooperative key collecting mode? So you know, put some notes on that and move on to the next game. The next game is Evil Can Evil. Something that my son is obsessed with right now. He cannot stop playing on the uh, iOS version that we have. Plays it every Wednesday afternoon. Don't believe me? I will take pictures of Douglas playing every week from now until he stops playing this game and or the Yamiko comes out. Trust me, he really loves this game. I love the game. I liked, I liked it so much that I completed every single stage, every mission, everything about Evil Knievel. Um, but that's another video. Maybe that I will make soon. Who knows? Anyway, product description time. Now it's your turn to follow in the footsteps of the legendary daredevil hero with the official Evil Knievel game. Relive his spectacular career from having a humble 20, 255 250 cc scrambler skipping the rattlesnakes and lions to insane jumps like the 13 buses and the las vegas casino fountain on the 750 ultimate which was a really hard jump and very cool compete against up to four players to see who can jump the snake river canyon on the sky cycle x2 which is awesome and something that is not in the original game at all have fun doing wheelies, flips, and loops, and many other stunts. Deal with burning tires, diving boards, cranes, and many other exciting obstacles. Earn money by jumping to the shop for tons of awesome motorcycles and outfits, including his iconic white and blue leather outfits and the awesome jet-powered Stratocycle, which is also critical to completing most of the parts of the game. I cannot wait to share some more stuff with everybody if, if the game types are similar from the iOS version um, to the Amico version. Um, you know, I know that there's going to be some difference in level design and like that kind of stuff. But, um, oh man, the, the Stratocycle is like the coolest thing ever. And I, I do like the fact that there is still that shop in there where you can earn coins. I hope the economy if somebody's listening, I hope the economy is much more generous uh, to the user because obviously um, the original Leaf Knievel on iOS um, was a game that was developed to kind of, you know, get get you to possibly give them a tip. Um, it was a pretty cheap game, but you could pay extra to get some more coins and that kind of stuff, or you can grind it out um, to, to get that. I, I really hope the economy is a little better in the Amico version than it was in the iOS version, but that's, again, another video. Down to the features single player and multiplayer modes which were not in the original game um <clears throat> intuitive controls 28 challenging dump jumps in 10 historic locations including las vegas chicago ontario london and snake river Car canyon that tells you what they were but it's yeah it's another video um 11 unique bikes including the 250 cc scrambler the 600 50 cc deluxe the 750 cc ultimate the jet powered stratocycle and the rocket powered sky cycle x2 which is the one that you use in the multiplayer stuff which is cool eight classic outfits and 20 special helmets to collect i can confirm that re revisiting the original game because i have unlocked most if not all of the things in the game there are extra helmets there um not sure about the outfits but i am 100 percent sure that there are extra helmets to collect which would be cool maybe a little running man helmet that'd be kind of neat um, anyway, this game also has achievements, which makes me happy. Um, dozens of goals and bronze, silver, and gold trophies to be earned every time you complete a jump uh, based on, you know, dates and stuff like that. It's the same kind of thing as it was in the iOS version, um, but it's awesome and cool, and I cannot wait to play on the Amico or as my son Douglas calls it, the big TV game, um, but he also plays with the Amico too. But he's so, so, so stoked to play with me because I told him about the multiplayer mode and he's like out of his mind. It's it's going to be awesome. So anyway, then there's a quote. Anyone can jump a motorcycle. The problem is, the problem starts when you try to land. And that is a quote from Evil Knievel himself. So let's move on to the next game, which is Finnegan Fox. It's awesome. All right. So this one doesn't have a lot of new information, so I'm going to read the product description really, really quickly, and then we're just going to move on, because there's, there isn't a lot of new stuff to see here. Finnegan Fox is a clever action platformer RPG with, with, clever action, blah, 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 blah. 
Finnegan Fox is a clever and fun action platformer with RPG and puzzle elements. Wow. Sorry, guys. All right. On the fly, switch between different seasons. Shoot and cut with your magical melee crossbow and grab the loot to reveal the secret of season five. Is it fifth season? Okay. I want to I wanna know about this season. All right. A fox-tastic fable with exciting super secrets, larger-than-life bosses, and exciting explorations. A four-player versus mode completes the package, which is cool. Um, so what are you waiting for? Unleash the power of the seasons. All right, cool. The features are seasons. <laughs> Switch between uh, different seasons to explore new areas, outsmart enemies, and un uncover amazing secrets. You've seen some of that in the preview videos, which is cool. Magic melee crossbow. Use a weapon like no other to shoot, cut, slide, and change the seasons. Fox-tastic Fox fable. Um, help Finnegan uncover the mystery of season five and bring justice back to the forest and their people. Audiovisual pleasure. Um, enjoy. That's, a, that's an awesome marketing term right there. Um, enjoy colorful cartoon graphics and a stunning orchestral soundtrack, which, of course, we've seen and heard some. It does actually sound really awesome. And yeah, it might be something I want to do on like an MP3 download kind of thing. All right. Uh, action platformer. Exciting adventure with gripping RPG elements, clever puzzles, and screen filling bosses. That is it for Finnegan Fox, but that is not all for this video. It's pretty crazy. All right. Next one is Missile Command. All right. Awesome. Well, let's get into the description. In one of the most famous arcade games of all time, players must protect their cities from a mysterious, from mysterious enemy invasions in the Missile Command. Try this classic arcade gaming, gaming experience now with a new completely redesigned version with improved graphics on the Amico from Intellivision. Supports up to four players in four game modes. Multiple environments, 12 unique power-ups, and high octane action from start to finish. Team up with friends on, in this intense couch co-op shooter to protect your home base from computer opponents, each other, or both at the same time, which is kind of crazy. Um, the features, single player or co-op, up to four players, versus modes, two to four players, 2v2 modes, which is four players, multiple environments, of course, 12 unique power-ups, and competitive leader boards, um, which is pretty awesome. But... You know, these screens, I think we've seen some of these stuff before. It's Missile Command. I can't wait to see more about Missile Command. I want to know all of the things. Um, and, uh, you know, that one is just like, come on. I just put a controller in my hand. I want to play this thing. Um, but it's cool that it has a physical version. I hope it's going to be something really cool. And let's move on to Moon Patrol. All right. Product description. The year is 2021 and aliens have entered our solar system i mean that statement actually might be scarily true but anyway <laughs> um enemy aliens swarm the moons of each planet disrupting their gravitational fields in a way that could tear apart the worlds they orbit and destroy the solar system our campaign with luna city police begins way out of the sun where aliens were first spotted on the sky of pluto where they invade the, mu the moon charon from there we chase them as they relentlessly advance towards the inner planets the epic mission to protect the future of mankind takes us to across takes us to nine moons across the solar system climb high peaks and descend into cave-like depths you will encounter ever greater dangers and enemy types and use the rover technologies that you will find along the way over the long distances between the planets you will race through exotic wormholes and collect additional reef resources for the fight team up or compete with the family as they draw as the battle draws closer and closer to the sun because whatever the aliens um what whatever the aliens on our star must stop so again, translation weirdness. Team up to team up or compete with the family as the battle draws closer and closer to the sun. Because no. Nope. Yeah, we must stop the aliens from getting to our star, I think. I don't know. 
that's weird again you know you know grain of salt people grain of salt so features relive the original experience we want everyone new or seasoned players to have the same feeling and atmosphere that the original had when it was first released power-ups collectibles that can be used to unlock the moon rover weapons and skills are spread across all levels which we've seen in the demo dynamic camera switching angles to offer a better view of the impending dangers which is cool because um if the, you know if there was like a switching hour angles option we didn't see it i don't think we saw that in a demo so that'd be kind of cool if you like you had control over that to like you know do a little sneak peek or like that, that kind of thing so that you're not like running straight into an obstacle and you don't know which you know of course did happen to me several times in a demo <laughs> um and then a mini game a quick change between the levels which offers the opportunity to earn additional lives there's a mini game that's awesome what is the mini game who knows you know like are there like other secrets that are not in the feature list also who knows all i know is it's moon patrol we've got some more information on it and man oh man do i want some more stuff but before we get to that let's get to our last game which is rigid reforced no rigid force redux enhanced that's the game all right cool so product description Classic shoot 'em up action is back. Rigid Force Redux breathes new life into the classic side scrolling shooter genre with lovingly crafted, lovingly handcrafted 3D models, breathtaking environments, detailed effects, and an electrifying synth wave soundtrack. Destructive firepower. Arm your fighters with numerous upgradable weapon systems and additional force shards. Collect energy balls to fill your energy supply and eventually trigger an extremely powerful explosion against your enemies confront an over mighty armada fight against huge swarms of enemies heavy gunships laser wielding mechs and giant alien creatures each enemy has their own unique challenging strategy from the smallest creature to the biggest boss many extras in the event that the ex extensive action-packed main mission is not enough for you try the challenging arcade and boss rush modes defend your ranking in the global leaderboards and get all 40 achievements everything is set up for countless hours of shooting fun that's awesome and 40 achievements that's cool i want all of them because i'm into that kind of thing so features classic side scrolling shooting up action with modern 3d graphics Exciting couch co-op for two players. Unique weapon and power-up systems. Lots of different enemies, challenging mid-bosses and huge end bosses. Exciting story mode with animated cutscenes and full voiceovers. Additional arcade and boss rush big game modes. <clears throat> Six different action pack games stages, which I think is like the length of the game is like is six stages. I don't know if there's like a six one, six two, six three or you know that kind of thing or is it just one two three four five six who knows demanding but fair gameplay adjustable level of, of difficulty for beginners to experienced players and leaderboards and success which i don't know i think maybe leaderboards and achievements maybe was what i was trying to say um again you know translations google translate grain of salt all that kind of stuff original synth wave soundtrack by dreamtime with michael chait and brand new bonus tracks by Tommy Tallarico. That is some good stuff right there. All right, awesome. So, <clears throat> you know, Rigid Force, again, it's another game I want to hear more about. It's got that R-Type vibe to it. I really dig that kind of thing. Um, R-Type was one of the very first, if not the very first, side-scrolling shooter I ever played. And this definitely screams like, this is a new modern version of this game. Please play me. And I say, yes, I would like to play you very much. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. So with all that being said, we can go to the wrap up where I go, hello, hi, welcome back. Wow. I I don't think I've actually like read that much that long in a long time. Um, I know I do a lot on the news line, but wow, that was a lot. And it's like almost 30 minutes of me just yammering on about these games and reading the descriptions. But 
thanks so much for sticking in there. Um, what do you guys think? Hit me up in the comments. That is huge, huge stuff. Um, I'm excited. I'm pumped. I'm ready to rock. I want to have like more information come out about these games. I got so many questions. We might be diving in and talking some more about some of the things that are in this little treasure trove. Um, you know, maybe asking direct questions of Team and Television and Tommy himself. You know, um, maybe I can sneak my way in and say hi on uh, Amico All Access. I haven't been there for a really long time, but who knows? Who knows what's in store for any of that? All I know is there is your Good Times Newsline flashcast for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you check out the friends. They're awesome. Check them out. Give them some love. Give them some likes. Give them some subs. Give them all that kind of stuff. Um, don't forget, too, we are doing a giveaway here that's Evercade related. Um, those guys, those other guys there, yep, they talk Evercade. They talk about it all the time on the Facebook group and on their Evercade live sessions, and they do all sorts of stuff. But as we bring it home to Bacon Ice Cream Productions, boom. You want some Pico? You want some Jalico in your life? All right. Hit this right here. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel. Thank you. You got to go to go into the video that's in the links down below. Hit the the you know, hit the comments of that video with Evercade giveaway and leave the hashtag chalkwalk2021. As we thank again in television entertainment for their their kind support and donations to our team's efforts and for letting me know about the truck walk in and of itself. Again, thanks so much. Um, that's part of the reason why we're doing some this giveaway. The other reason is um, we want to do it on the Evercast. So be sure on the number three to be in the chat on June 5th. That's two days from now in the chat with me and OEB Pete and edit retro code dash nine and be there where we will select one of you guys that has done the three things to win these two cartridges i will send them to you uh, which is awesome but if you get me to 400 subscribers we're gonna tie this into intellivision once more i will pre-order intellivision collection one and send it to you as well but i gotta hit 400 by saturday i mean it's just the way it works it's the rules i i you know i did make the rules but, you know, I, I mean, that's it. That's what you got to do. If not, you know, we'll figure out a way. We'll, we'll do something else, and maybe in television collection we'll find their way to somebody different later. But, you know, if you can get me there, that'd be cool. You know, just pump this up. All right. But until next time, we will catch you next time for some good times. Thanks again so much for hanging out with me and shaking in this awesome news. I'm Rich, and we'll see you later. Take it easy, guys.